Welcome to Simply Science from Nature Education. I'm Adam Weiss and I'm here at Boston University with Jeremy De Silva, a professor of anthropology who looks at our human cousins as well as our human ancestors and mm -hmm. wants to tell us about this whole missing link idea. What is it really? Well, it's a misnomer. Um, the idea of a missing link is that humans somehow evolved from chimpanzees, but that's not how evolution works. Chimpanzees live today. They're our cousins. Uh, we didn't butt off them somehow. Instead, we share an ancestor that lived back in time about six million years ago. Now, what those ancestors actually looked like, that's, that's the value of fossils. We look at fossils to understand the pattern of, of evolution. And, uh, and so if humans and chimpanzees do share an ancestor, there should be animals that lived that were not humans and not chimpanzees, but were different in some sorts of ways. So in the late 1800s, a researcher uh, discovered this fossil in Indonesia. And the beauty of this one here, which we now call Homo erectus, is that it has a brain size that's exactly between a modern chimpanzee and a modern human. So this is, here we are, a missing link, and the term should go away. Because since this time, we've now found thousands of fossils that connect us to this common ancestor that we shared with a chimpanzee. So certainly not missing in this case. Exactly, exactly. So this is kind of halfway in between? Well, halfway in between as it, as it pertains to brain size. But we know from discovering leg bones of, of this creature and discovering the pelvis and the foot, and now footprints have been discovered, uh, that this thing walked on two legs just like we do, as well as we do. And so there hasn't been this uh, gradual progression necessarily of all the features that we differ from chimpanzees. Instead, upright walking seems to have evolved first, and then brain expansion happened later. And you have uh, another ancestor over here that is halfway in between in terms of walking, but not in terms of brain. Yeah, this one goes back even further in time. As the fossil that you just held there was only about a million and a half years old, but humans and chimps share an ancestor that lived about six million years ago. And so researchers working in the country of Chad discovered a fossil that's about six to seven million years old. And the beauty of this fossil here is that it's not a chimpanzee. It doesn't look like a chimpanzee. It's got a brain size about a chimp brain, but the brow ridge here is like a gorilla. It has small canines and a forward-facing hole in the base of the skull where the neck and the back would have left the skull more like a human. And so this thing would have held itself more in an upright position. Uh, when, when leg bones and, and foot bones and so on and so forth are discovered, we'll know better how this thing moved. But the beauty of this fossil here shows us very clearly that the common ancestor between humans and chimpanzees uh, was, was probably not a chimpanzee. Uh, that chimpanzees have evolved quite a bit as well. So it could be that they walk less upright than they used to, just like we walk more upright. Well, than we're not do. sure. We're honestly not sure. Uh, it'll take a lot more fossils uh, for us to determine that. Uh, there have been some beautiful fossils uh, reported recently out of Ethiopia that also push this idea that chimpanzees have undergone tremendous evolutionary change over their lineage as well. Now, when I look at this guy, he looks a little skewed. Is that what yeah. it would have looked like, or is that something that happened in the last couple million years? Yeah, that's what, yeah, that's, uh, fossilization is a brutal process. And this uh, particular specimen here was distorted uh, uh, through geological processes. It was twisted and warped and distorted. Um, but now, with modern technology, it can be undistorted. And so this fossil here was put through a CT scanner and undistorted and so we now have a better idea of what the original what the original bone would have looked like in this particular creature and it doesn't change this story too much it's still this ape that doesn't exist today but shares many of the features that we see in modern chimpanzees modern gorillas and in modern humans well i can definitely see the resemblance to a human skull and next to this chimp skull it has a resemblance as well so thank you sure. very much for explaining how this fits in with our history you're welcome